there are many ways to divide countries. Lines can be drawn along sporting teams, religion, politics, but the most delicious way is, of course, food and drink. So what's a sausage equator? Where is it, and what does it divide? Most borders on Earth are formed by natural barriers, ethnography, or historical events. But there are deep cultural differences that create divisions even within countries. In Germany, that division is the white sausage equator. We'll get to the sausages in a moment, but make sure you stick around to the end of the video for Australia's own culinary boundaries. Germany is a prime example of a nation divided by food. The prevalence of wheat beer separates north and south. This fruit is an apfel, except in the north where it's colloquially known as an apple. Germany even has a clear geographical divide in its food supermarkets. Since the 1960s, the supermarket Aldi has been split into two entities, establishing the Aldi Equator, with Aldi Nord operating in the north and Aldi Süd in the south. But Germany's best example of cultural food division comes in the form of the Weisswurst Equator, or White Sausage Equator. The Sausage Equator divides North and South Germany, with specific reference to the preferred kind of white sausage in the south of Germany. In the south, predominantly in Bavaria, white sausages made from veal and pork are wildly popular along with the perhaps better known Bratwurst or Frankfurter. The exact course of the equator is debated. Some people define it along the river Main others along the river Danube, and others simply within a 100 km radius of Munich. Wherever the exact line though, the Weistwurst Aquator is a serious concept, so serious as to have made it into the definitive German dictionary, the Duden. What makes the White Sausage Equator a meatier topic is that it isn't just about the preference of sausage. Germany has a rich history of different states that variously clashed and united, and the cultural, language, and food differences between the different states, and especially between North and South, are still prevalent today. The Weisswurst Aquator is an analogue for these differences, and is subjectively used by those on either side of the border to highlight them. Germany is of course not alone in being divided by food. Neighbouring Switzerland has its own food equator, the Hash Potato Trench, Röstigraben. This line separates the culturally Swiss-German portion of the country, where Rusty, or hash potato, is a staple from the French-speaking parts of the country. While researching this video, I found numerous other examples of different countries with food equators. Let me know in the comments what culinary borders your country has. In Australia, we have the unglamorous Red Rooster line, which neatly separates Sydney and Western Sydney by way of mapping the outlets of a fast food chain called Red Rooster. There's also a debate over how exactly to name this delicious fried potato snack, depending on which part of the country you're in. Cultural and food borders are not set in stone. They are often fluid and can be totally subjective, but they're a good reminder of the historical context in which culture develops and the way in which people adapt to different environments. Again, let me know what food borders you have in your country in the comments and make sure you subscribe to get notified about my next video and check out my other videos here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.